The first rule I'd like to talk about with respect to the derivation rules, or the rules found in the deductive apparatus for predicate logic, is the universal elimination rule. The universal elimination rule states that from a universally quantified formula, so this universal quantifier here is operating on this formula phi, we can derive a well-formed formula phi, where, which is the result of removing the universal quantifier here and replacing in phi each instance of x that is bound by the universal quantifier with a name a, where this replacement is uniform. So the idea here is, let's say we had a universally quantified formula, ax, px. We would make use of universal elimination by removing the universal quantifier and replacing each instance of x with any name of our choosing, provided this replacement is uniform. So here we could replace the variable x, which is bound by the universal quantifier here, with say a. And we could apply universal elimination again and replace each instance of x with a different name, which is b. So again, the idea behind universal elimination is we reason from a universally quantified expression to a formula that the universal quantifier operates on, but we replace each bound variable x with a name of our choosing. The idea behind universal elimination is pretty straightforward. It corresponds to how we reason using universal propositions. Someone might say everything in this cage is a butterfly or is going to be a butterfly or in the future will be a butterfly. And from this we can reason to any specific item in the cage where, that we have a name for. So let's take a look at this particular butterfly that is very prominent in this slide and call this particular butterfly tech. So we can reason from everything in this cage is a butterfly to the statement tech is a butterfly. We represent this in the language of predicate logic by saying for all x, bx, that is everything in the domain of things that we're talking about is a butterfly, therefore tech is a butterfly. And what we've done is simply to replace, again, remove the universal quantifier and take the formula that the universal quantifier operates on and replace each bound variable with a name of our choosing. And in this case, we pick T because T refers to tech here, this butterfly. Let's look at some further examples. The basic idea behind universal elimination is you start with the universally quantified formula and we, you can move forward a step in the proof, move forward a step in the derivation by removing the universal quantifier and replacing the bound variables with any name of our choosing. So just to look at a quick example, here we have AXPX at line one and lines two, three, and four are results of using universal elimination on line one. At line two, we used universal elimination and replaced x with a. At line three, we used universal elimination on line one. So we're reasoning from this universal quantified expression and we replaced the bound variable x with b. And at line four, we made use of universal elimination once again on line one, replacing the bound variables x with e. So one thing to kind of note about this example is the name we pick is completely up to us. And then two, you can make use of universal elimination more than once on a particular universally quantified formula. One mistake I sometimes see is that the replacement of variables with names is not uniform. So the idea is that when you make use of universal elimination, this replacement of variables with name needs to be uni uniform. So let's look at an example of this. Here at line one, we have for all x, rxx. At line two, we make use of universal elimination and we re replaced all of the bound variables with a name and that name is the same name. At line three, we have uh, use of universal elimination again on line one and we replace the bound variables x with the same name. But line four is a case where we've taken those bound variables and in one case we replace the x with a and the other case we replace the x with b. This is not a acceptable use of universal elimination. To see why, suppose line one says everyone loves themselves. So for any x in the domain, that x is in the relation of loving themselves. It would follow that 
from line two, when we make use of universal elimination, we'd see that it would follow that Alfred loves himself. And this would seem to intuitively follow from line one. If everyone loves themselves, then Alfred loves himself. At line three, we say that we have RBB, and let's say B stands for Bob. This would, line three would say, Bob loves himself. And again, this doesn't seem problematic to say if, if everyone loves themselves, then it would follow that Bob loves him, himself. Line four is the problematic line though. If line one says everyone loves themselves, then line four would say that it would follow from line one that Alfred loves Bob. But that doesn't follow intuitively from the sentence, everyone loves themselves. So to summarize, when you replace the bound variables with names, you wanna make sure that the replacement with a name is uniform.